Did you know that you can not only split your virtual instrument or MIDI tracks in GarageBand, you can also join them back together? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use split and join to organize our projects in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And if you create music in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad, then splitting and joining is gonna be a handy little thing to have in your toolkit to get your tracks more organized. So let's dive in to the iPhone here and take a look now. So what is splitting and joining and how can it help us in our projects here in GarageBand on the iPhone or the iPad? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's start with splitting. Now, let's grab this guitar track here. And you can see I've recorded this track throughout the whole of this song. But let's just say that I don't want it through the whole song. I only want it to kick in from bar number five here. Well, what I can do is I can tap here, tap again, tap on split, and my little scissors icon appears. Now, all I need to do is drag down on that scissor and now I've got two separate pieces of audio here. I can do a few things from here. I can grab this handle and drag to the left or the right. I can tap here and then I can drag this handle to the right and then back to the left. Or I can select one of these like I'm going to do, tap again and tap delete. And now my guitar will only kick in from bar five. Let's take a listen. Very, very cool. Now, what about this flute here? Let's see if we can split this flute. Uh-oh, we got a problem here. The flute actually carries across between these two bars. So what's gonna happen if we split? We're gonna tap, we're gonna go split, and we're gonna split, and whoop, we've lost this note here. So if you split in the middle of a note, you are gonna lose that note. So let's hit undo here. You can see that the note starts here, but then it misses out when it goes across. So just keep that in mind. If we did wanna make sure that we had just that note, we can edit here and then we can just move this note by tapping it and just moving it into the right location like so dropping the end back and then we've got our note there ready to go let's just hit done we're going to undo that one because we don't actually want to split our flute i just wanted to show you that if you do split in the middle of a note you are going to lose it in the second half because you're going to split in the middle of a note what about joining Joining is very cool. So all of these flute sections and the bass for that matter were recorded in separate takes. So they're all separate. But what if we wanna bring all of these together now? Well, we have a way to do that. The way we can do it with this flute is we're gonna tap and select, we're gonna tap just here in this microphone track, drag all the way across all of these. They're all selected now. We can now tap on any one of these, tap again and tap join and watch what happens. Like magic, all of these items are now joined into one long track. Now joining only works with MIDI tracks or virtual instruments. So you do need to use a guitar, a bass, a strings, or any of our virtual instrument tracks to do this. Now what about here where we've got this upright bass and we can't actually drag around it? Well now we can tap and hold on the first item and then tap each individual other item together until we've tapped them all. Now let's just tap tap again on any of these and hit join. And there we go, we've got our bass track now completely joined together. So we can use multiple takes, but then rejoin them together at the end. So this works for all of our MIDI instruments. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for our audio recorder track. So if we had something in this microphone track, it wouldn't work. It only works for our green MIDI tracks or our yellow drummer tracks. Let's take a look at what Split does for our drummer. So let's zoom in on our drummer here. We're going to tap on the drummer trap, tap again, tap split, and then pull down on the scissors here. Now it's split, but what you'll notice here is it's actually removed one of our drum hits. Let's play this back. So we've got that little bit of a pause, a little bit of a gap there. So if we undo that by just tapping, tapping and holding, tapping again, tapping and hitting join, you can see that we get this hit back on that item. So when you are splitting a drum track, you are gonna change the makeup of the drummer track. So now it's gonna sound a bit like this. So we have that hit back on the drummer track. So there you go. That is a crash course in splitting and joining your tracks. It's a very handy feature if you've got multiple takes or you're editing together multiple parts of a MIDI track here in GarageBand. There you have it, a very simple but a very effective and useful tool to add to your GarageBand iOS toolkit. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. 
there are a whole heap more GarageBand Quick Champs. In fact, two of them are linked right down below right now. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner, or you can head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.